Good morning, friends, and welcome to Monday, November 28th. Ev Long will start us with the 90 and 9. Monday's devotion is found in the Upper Room Discipline, written by Ben Yusa Davis. Our scripture reading this morning is Isaiah 11, 1 to 5. A shoot shall come out from the stump of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. The Spirit of the Lord shall rest on him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. His delight shall be in the, the fear of the Lord. He shall not judge by what his eyes see or decide by what his ears hear, but with righteousness he shall judge the poor and decide with equity for the meek of the earth. He shall strike the earth with the rod of his mouth and the breath of his lips he shall kill the wicked. Righteousness shall be the belt around his waist and faithfulness the belt around his loins. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. It's going to turn out fine was the last thing that the author wanted to hear as he shoved the last of his two boxes into a moving van, saying goodbye to the new church his wife and he had tried so hard to plant over the last seven years. <clears throat> that line, in its many forms, had hung over his head like an axe, a cheerful denunciation of his apparent failures. Just go ahead and try. What could be wrong? And as it turned out, a lot. Try this, insert program here. It's sure to help. Well, it didn't. Don't give up. Trust in God. Was my broken body and spirit confirmation of my faithlessness? <clears throat> We live in a culture that is addicted to the belief that a happy ending is always right around the corner. But he had learned the hard way that believing everything will magically fix itself is sometimes the worst form of reality denial. Isaiah writes to a community whose optimism had been proven false. Their country was conquered. People had been ripped from their homes and sent into exile and they had lost much of what they had most deeply valued, possibly forever. In this context, we read, a shoot shall come out from the stump, a branch from its roots. Doesn't seem like much of a promise, but the author remembers holding on to it as they drove off saying goodbye to the city that they had grown to love and the dreams that they had worked so hard to make real. It wasn't the promise that everything would turn out fine, but it was the promise that life would go on. In that moment, he learned the difference between optimism and hope, even though our culture frequently conflates the two. Hope does not need good circumstances in order to take root. Sometimes all it needs is a shoot, peeking up tentatively from the stump of a new dead tree. Let us pray. Where can you discover hope, even if there are few reasons for optimism? Amen. Our closing hymn is Come Thou Long Expected Jesus.
Oh.